and welcome back to the reaper so we're in our mig 15 and we're at night ba -ba -ba. So we're going to just show you some more things with the mig 15 uh some signal flares we can see at night uh, using our fuel tanks also uh, lighting in the cockpit because people often ask about lighting in the cockpit first things first uh, you will need a torch and that is left control and l you can see no torch left control and l and torch what did I say? Left out one L. Left out one L. Okay. So once you've got your torch, and then you can turn your floodlights on, like so, and this allows you to see elsewhere. Anything else you want to add to the uh, cockpit lights and stuff, Shah? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's the UV lights, which actually light up your dashboard or your instrument specifically with the fluorescent paint. Uh, if you look next to your right knee, you see two rheostats called right and left UV light rheostats. Roger. So what you want to do is you turn those up all the way at first and you leave them there for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. um, these are very old-fashioned lights with like organ and, and the mercury wafer inside. So it'll need a very high voltage at first. After a few seconds, you take them down a notch, like 10-15 degrees to the left, otherwise they can actually burn out if you leave them there. For some reason this actually takes a while to start glowing properly, I'm not sure why that is. Roger. Okay, anything else about the lights? Uh, yes, well, you know, we do still have external lights. So if you look at your dashboard, to the top left above your gear lever, you will see your landing light. Um, well, for the landing light, actually, you will need to switch on the main landing light power as well, which is on the right uh, circuit breaker panel, the top right switch, first row, very right. Hey, as mentioned before, this is offset, offset like 15 degrees to the left, so you can actually properly you know, land during the night when it's dark. Okay. Otherwise, you just lose a lot of light intensity because it shines where you can't see. And finally, you do have your formation lights. So if you look on the left side, around the corner from the from the nose light switch, you see a little white light, and straight in front of that, there's the external lights. Uh, the light, yep, got it. Meow. Right, it's lighting all down and set up. Right, okay, gonna arm some fuel tanks. Some big ones. Yeah. Also, also, you could, uh, if it's too bright, uh, decrease the brightness of your gun sight. So the bottom right of the gun sight, you just have to scroll the up. Roger. Okay, Charles, I've got my bags. They're absolutely massive. Like, really massive. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's roll, your mother. And you will notice, obviously, that your takeoff speed will be slightly higher. Probably about 260, 270. Okay. Although getting to roll becomes a bit more difficult. Yeah, I don't know about you, but my instruments are starting to light up nicely now. Yeah, you're right. I can see stuff now, Star. So it just takes a while to get that Mercury Argon going, I guess. Yeah. One thing I notice is we're not going to be able to see our flap indicators on the tops of our wings. Oh, that is true. You can see your flap levels at a computer. Just can't tell whether I'm lined up or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy. Right, I am now. Uh, do we have to? In you know the fuel tanks we've got. Do we have to engage them anyway, or are they automatically? Negative. Yeah. They will feed automatically. So what will happen is you will first um, feed 100 liters from the main tank into the engine, then the entire fuel tanks, then another 345 liters, I believe, or 245 from the main tank. Then all the rear tanks, oh. there's 160 liters in there, and then you'll empty the main Shall tank. I, I figured the lights out. Uh, I figured the lights, they only work when the generator is on uh, above 5,000 RPM. As soon as you, mm. let you let your light, as soon as you let your RPM drop, the lights will go out again. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this plane, seriously, it's got character star. Right. <laughs> it's this, um, yeah, it's interesting. Right, uh, I'm going to spool to 9,000 now. Uh, let me know when you're ready to go. All right, release in three, two. One okay, now. I can't see shit. Wow, well, I can see your light and that's it. Right, let's get that gear up. 
I'm throttled out hard, just try and follow me and they can show you the things. Roger. I'm still at slow down. Just gotta stop some of that and stuff out. Yeah, I think we can all land this. <laughs> oh dear, okay, that's, that's the wrong way. Right, caps flaps are up. Caps gear is up. I'm now a fully functioning aeroplane. Alright, so, do you remember where your players are? Yeah, a firm, one thing I do remember. I'm going to turn them on. A switch, switch straight to the left of them, yes, you're going to flip. Done. And now you can just push the buttons in and you will have one flare each of the four different colors. If you want, I can Ooh. start. Uh, yeah, you start pumping them out so I can see them. That's Yellow! Fair. Green! Green. This is how the Russians show their tactical um, game plan during the battle. They send out flares and wave flags at people. They did in World War II. They were waving flags. The TU-34s. Yeah, they no. <laughs> Bloody Russians. Well, I think it was not only Russians. It was all the early tanks that didn't have radio equipment. Roger. Cool. All right, that's that. Um, do you want to drop these horrendously heavy tanks then? Sure we can. Um... So if you look at your weapons panel, actually you can try right now. If you're trying to use the weapons release, your tanks should not drop, right? I'm going to try it now. Uh, okay, agreed. Good. Now, if you look uh, at your armament panel, do you remember where we, where we armed the bombs at the very bottom left? E yes, I do. So, you arm that and then you can actually drop the tanks with the weapons release. What you can alternatively do, uh, there's a big red cover down there saying emergency release button cover. Yeah. Uh, you can just uh, open that up and push the button underneath and it will drop any tanks or bombs you have. Whatever state they're currently in, so you know, bombs can be armed or unarmed. Stand by. I think they dropped. Is there any way to prove they've dropped other than looking outside? I know they've dropped because I can see my speed going up, but it's just, just, a interest, just a question really. Yes, you should have a green light that just came on actually in your dash. Okay. If if you have the right uh, the right thing to flip. So, do you know where your weapon indicator lights are? Roger. Straight to the right of that, there's drop tank signal switch. Yep. So what this thing will do, it basically measures the fuel pressure in the fuel line coming in from the from the drop tanks. Yep. And if that is too low, it will light up. So there's basically three reasons this can occur. Either your drop tanks are empty or your drop tanks are gone. I mean, usually you would confirm visually because you can see them from the cockpit, but obviously yeah. it's just too dark for that. Um, alternatively, also if you let your RPM drop below 6,000, it'll also drop the fuel pressure enough, so you can't actually tell them. Right. Um, anything other than going in for a night landing left to do? Uh, yes, there is one thing. Uh, if you dare to fly inverted for more than 15 seconds. Oh, God. Uh, right, okay. Uh, air okay, start. So you want to teach me an air start, aren't you? Exactly. Oh, so before okay. we do that, look uh, on your left circuit breaker panel. Yep. There's one button singled out. It's uh, particular to the others. Yeah. And it says air start switch. So Hang ideally on. you want to bind that to something because it's going to get fiddly to that do that. Yeah, it's going to get hard to get to. I'll, I'll run with it for now. Yep. Yep. So what happens? If you pull negative Gs or invert your aircraft for more than 15 seconds, yeah. your little backup tank of, I believe, 26 liters will run dry and the engine will stop. Right. Literally, all you have to do, that is technically speaking not a proper procedure, but it works this way. Just flip this switch and your engine will come back online. Afterwards, do unflip it, otherwise um, the ignition okay. system actually might, might burn out. Okay, Charles, I'm ready to test it. Shall we invert? Yep. Okay, I'm following... Okay, I'm inverting. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, uh, I don't know which way is up. This is pretty terrifying. Okay, I'm I'm behind you. I think I'm upside down. I think I'm upside down as well. I'm just not 100% sure. If you kill us, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I see a little bit of ground, I think, so it should be good. Yes, joy ground, joy ground. No, you're driving us into the bloody ground, Stoll. Am I? Abort, abort, abort. Which way? Just, I don't know, just pull up, because you were driving us down. 
Right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, now I've hit an aero buffer. Ah, oh, I'm going too fast. Over speeding. I can't. I've got no control. Yeah, press out. idle and you're rig. Uh, I control, crash crash control. Because, yeah. <laughs> you are a Wally star. Right, never mind, we'll do it with just me, that's all we need. Right. I've got a I've got to grips of where we are now. I'm now gonna invert. I'm now fully inverted. I'm now flying safely to the equator. I'm waiting for my gas to run out. Air brakes back up. Flying upside down, flying upside down, flying upside down, flying upside down. And that's the engine cut out. So I'm rookie soul. Reverting. Okay, I'm right here to put myself in a small dive. Okay, I am now going to press my button. You ready? Yes. Air start on. It's going. Now, how do I know when to turn air start off? Uh, as soon as it's cooled up nicely, so you should be good now, I think, judging by the sound. Air start off, and that's it. Air side. Happy with Basically. that. Basically. I mean, the proper procedure technically would be throttle down all the way to zero and turn off everything. Uh, which needs power, then you want to kind of consider um, whether you want to land somewhere without power or air restart it. There's, you know, certain circumstances that can fuck you up. Also, you do not want to perform a restart uh, above 6,000 meters. Uh, because of air pressure? Or? I believe so, yes. Right, cool. Lovely, well done, Charles. Apart from you crashing and fucking it all up, but uh, <laughs> anything else uh, before we hit on off? I uh, know, I think it's the important stuff then. Lovely, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.